Egosoft is one of my favorite developers. They make space sims, and they made my favorite one, X3. And they finally put out a sequel. This will be a great game to play while we wait for Star Citizen to come out of early alpha and in a playable state. I'm talking about X Rebirth and the year is 2013. I've tricked you. All of the things I've said required context you didn't have, and none of the things I have said have changed in this Anno Domini of our Lord 2018. But there were a ton of problems with X Rebirth, which gave credence to the idea that Star Citizen on its eventual release would be the only good one. But now we have X4, the second X game to come out since Star Citizen's development started, before Star Citizen left Alpha, and the game that looks like it fixed a lot of the problems with X Rebirth. I'm, I'm, oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go have fun playing a space sim. I mean, I'll check on Star Citizen 2 though, cause, I mean, it's been a whole ass year, and if I can make a few YouTube dollars off of making fun of it, maybe I won't need to go to court to get my money back. I think they just added this campaign, like, I don't remember it being there before. The Terran conflict, the Xenon, the shadow hunting me, I must hurry. Well. Sure is running pretty good, huh? I mean, I don't I just expected it not to, like, be playable, but here we are. So one of the really cool things that you can do in this game that I love doing in any game is you can put a custom emblems on your ship. So I really like this one. It's good and it'll keep me safe. Well, or I could go with this guy. I mean, he looks like a good Joe. Now, Quark charging up his profit beam is probably the most apt emblem for this game. But in the end, I'm gonna have to go with this. Because this is what I was going to name my spaceship in Star Citizen back when I was really excited for it. I had anyway, let's get into space, let's go. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, Star Citizen, shit! Speaking of that, I'm gonna go check and see how that's doing. So I seem to have forgotten my login credentials, as it has been a very long time since I have played this game. Visit the RSI website, sign out, and then back into your account, and then try again. I don't even know if I got my password right, to be honest. So I need to sign in the first time. Oh, it needed me to go to the website so I could do a capture, I guess. So did I get the password right? No. Can I make it trust my device forever? No, in fact, it's difficult to make it trust it for a year because there's no scroll bar. Not a good look, Chris. Okay, now it's time to sign in. I just reset my password so it should work. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, remember me. No. You know, no, I should have expected that it wouldn't work. I, I This is on me. I should have known that it wouldn't just let me sign in after I had immediately reset my password. I don't know why I would have expected that. I have yet to start playing the video game, and it's already giving a wonderful performance. A launch game? Okay, except... Is it not gonna patch, or, like... Oh, it's just... It's just gonna go, I guess. It doesn't need to patch all of the two patches I've missed. Oh, there it goes. No, no, it is still very much trying to launch. You hear that, criminal? That's the police. They won't be able to find you. Thanks for your help. Thank you for acting as judge, jury, and executioner. Here's your money. This is a good game. I'm gonna go on a fucking adventure. Use. Well, I should have seen that coming. Ooh, this ship's cool. I'm gonna go hitch a ride on this. So cool ship you got here. You know, I'm loving the decals and everything. I'm not in your way, am I? So, lady, I'm having a thought here. Um, So, you know, you can press Shift-1 to go a lot faster. You know, it, it basically, like, enables the hyperdrive and it'll get you to places faster than you're going. Um, lady? Um, uh, ex uh, excuse me, ma'am. You know, would... Do you like me to drive? I really like to listen to the heavy metal movie soundtrack while I travel through space. I feel like this is what every game developer is really trying to accomplish with a space game. So I like to put myself in that sort of headspace, you know? I gotta go now, lady. I gotta go check on Star Citizen. I'm running it at a low resolution. I've closed anything that could hinder it in any way. I'm going to give this game as much of a benefit of a doubt as possible. Alright, it takes 10 minutes to load. I'm gonna go do more of the X4 video while we wait for that, and then I'll come back when we're done. Oh, look, hi mining ship! 
That's my mining ship. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go say hi to him on the platform. Alright, so here's where I'm supposed to dock at, and... Oh, who is this gigantic asshole trying to crush me to death? Oh, come on. Uh, there we go. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, jackass! You gonna watch where you fucking go? Oh, it's mine. Alright, when I dock, I'm gonna give this guy peace of my mind. Hey, whoa, 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 where are you going? That man Welcome. came here to sell a bunch of ore, and he didn't even do that. Get back here. Yeah, come on back down, jackass. I'll sell the stuff for you. Don't worry. What was that? Oh. Well, it only took like four minutes to load, which is way better than the legitimate seven minutes it took last time, and... Well... You know, performance-wise, it might be a little better. Or not. Or not. Wait, no, hold on, it's stabilizing a teeny bit. I mean... Well... Anyway, it's way better than last time. How the fuck did I end up with a Cutlass and an Aurora? I, I didn't, like, pay for those. Did Chris Roberts just fucking give them to me for free? Because I shit on his game? So, the lighting engine might have fucked up, and now I can't find my way inside of the spaceship. So I'm just gonna go with this one instead. Fuck it, let's go. So, yeah, the game runs a teensy bit better. And, uh, feasibly, I can play it. And maybe that's just because, like, I'm playing in the middle of the night and nobody's on the servers or something, but, uh... Definitely a, uh, definitely better than last time, and there's, you know, there's a couple things to do in the game. I'm gonna go back to playing X4, though. So I have since learned that the reason that my big mining ship was trying to fly away was because of the fact that he had found a, uh, free ship for Welcome. me. So now I need to go hire someone to, uh, to fly it. How about you? Alright, lady, I need you to bring me over to that ship so I can fly it to the station, and if you put even so much of a scratch on my baby right now, I will shoot you out into space, where I will then shoot you with the spaceship's laser. Ooh, this ship's swanky. I mean, it's, you know, kind of beat to hell, but it's got this whole, like, back cargo container area. It's pretty cool. And now I have two spaceships, so now I can really start my journey of exploiting the hell out of the universe and squeezing every red cent I can out of it. Here at Robert Space Industries, we like to- Okay, but like I said in my earlier video, if Star Citizen got better, I'd give it the benefit of the doubt. And it got a little bit better! But, as much as I like to joke about the performance, the real problem with Star Citizen isn't really something I think they can solve right away. Unless they got a lot on the back burner. So, right now, I think that X4 will be the space game we've all been looking for. It's got tons of content, it's not a fuck-awful grind, you can have an active effect on the world, and for the most part it runs pretty good. But I do say will be, because it's not completely perfect. It's prone to frame drops, has a metric ass ton of bugs, and sometimes has heart attacks and dies for conceivably no reason. But, like I said earlier, Egosoft is one of my favorite developers, and that's because they are damn good at constantly patching their games and listening to their community. The game on the first day had a hotfix and a major bug fix patch, and they've since been rolling them out like hotcakes, so I'm excited. Thank you, Egosoft. Welcome.